Hi, and thank you for subscribing and following us on my channel. I'm glad to inform you that uh, we will continue with these serials because we have a lot of demand. Uh, we're still in August 2023, so all the information up to date. Uh, a lot of people asking me the same questions. Can I bring my parents or grandparents to visit me in Canada or to live with me? This is a very legit question, and it is always on the mind, especially uh, if you still have the parents and you want to live with them, grandchildren want to be with their grandparents. Uh, but there is a trick for this. So let's be clear that there is three ways to bring parents and grandparents. Parents and grandparents are the same in Canada. So you can bring any of them or all of them, but there are three ways to come uh, to bring them uh, to Canada. Two of these ways are temporary, which means that they can stay for a while and they have to go back to their country. And the third one is permanently, which they can have a permanent resident card or later a citizenship if they want to apply. So let's speak about them one by one, what's the differences and how you can apply. For the first one, which is a temporary visitor visa, which is the normal visa you can apply through online for, for them to come here. Uh, most of the time they give them uh, around four or five years, depending on the validity of, of the passport. But the maximum they can stay here in Canada is six months. They can stay timber for six months and they have to leave the country no matter where and they can come back after they leave the country. So this is conditional. There are some uh, some some uh, exclusions or you, you can apply for extension if there's something happening or sickness. But again, this is the norm. Six months, they can stay here. This is a visitor visa. For the visitor visa, the most important thing is to write for them uh, or during the visitor visa application, you write an invitation letter. In this invitation letter, you indicate that these are the parents or the grandparents and they will leave you at this address and you will take responsibility of their travel uh, life here and you have to show that you are a canadian citizen or a permanent residence here in canada also you have to add your financial statements to show that you are able to <clears throat> cover their trip simple and easy okay the second one which is the uh, most uh, famous one or uh, which we call it the super visa. Okay, the difference is obvious. It's bigger, yeah. super. So if we go to the Immigration and Refugee of Canada Citizenship, uh, you will find the section visit. If you go to the visit, you will si see invite parents or grandparents. And here, if you want to apply for a super visa, so in the super visa, the application fees is cheaper than the normal visa. It's hundred dollars. The normal visa is more. It's uh, I think uh, one eighty nine eighty five something like that with the fingerprints. So the super visa allow you to stay in Canada for a maximum of five years. So it's still temporary, but you can stay five years. It used to be two years, but they changed it recently in June twenty twenty three. So now you can stay five years and you have to leave, then you can come back and get into another five years. So the maximum of this visa is 10 years. However, the maximum stay in Canada without leaving is only five years. You can extend it again with some exceptions. We will not talk about that. But there are criteria for that. So let's see them. The first, the first, uh, the inviters you have to be either canadian citizen or permanent resident. so if you are a worker here or a student you cannot invite your parents and grandparents to come with you through the super visa you can maybe make a visa but not the super visa so the second one you have to show how uh, the relation and uh, with a letter would uh, to invite them so a letter of invitation show the number of people living and i will tell you why in this household like you have a family of four and you would like to invite two so you will be six together okay uh, this is you have to prove that you have a canadian and i emphasize on a canadian insurance for the duration of a minimum of one year 
So you have to buy a medical insurance for them. At the normal visa, the first type, you do not, you can buy it, but you are not, uh, you know, it's not a mandatory to buy uh, um, insurance. And if you want to buy it, you can buy the Canadian insurance, you can buy it uh, from your country if it's cheaper, whatever. But in this super visa, you have to buy it from a Canadian company and it has to be for at least a year with a, a minimum of 100,000 coverage, emergency coverage. So, and you have to show that it's bought, no deposit, the quotation will not be accepted as it says here. So you have to buy it. And uh, uh, later things, so uh, you have to show that you have enough financial support uh, for uh, uh, proof of fund. So it means the notice of assessments, it means the um, uh, the tax uh, of the last year for you and your wife, you can put them together, it's a family income. And you have to show that you have this minimum uh, income. Uh, maybe you can show the pay stops if, if, if it's not, uh, if you don't have the note of assessments, if you are new in the country, or something, let's see the minimum necessary. So let's say you are uh, having, you and your wife and having two children, four of you, and you would like to invite another two, which is my your father, uh, father and mother. So you will have six of people, you, you need at least 65,400 of minimum gross income to be in your family income, you and your wife. So minimum of this amount, okay? So this is, it shows the lowest that you can apply. Uh, again, the super visa, it's longer process. Usually it takes around four, five, six months. The normal visa it takes around one, two months. So again, it's more, more details. So you have to be prepared for that. Uh, the last one, which is, uh, I don't see it's on the website because this program which we call it uh, sponsorship your parents, usually it comes for a period of time. You have to follow the news. Um, the last time it came, they took a bunch of people, then they withdraw them and then call them or send them an email telling them you can apply now. Again, uh, the year before, they opened it for seven minutes and it was full. So it, there's a, a huge demand on this and they have limits of the number. There is a cab, maybe 10,000, 20,000 parents can come. So it depends. Every year they have this cab. Uh, sometimes they don't have it in that year, so that second year. Uh, but this is a way to uh, sponsorship to immigrate to Canada. There is an application. There's application fees and there is a minimum income you need to have in the family and it's higher than the super visa. So most of the people fail in the minimum income. They couldn't sponsor their parents because you, uh, you have to take care of the parents for the uh, period of 10 years at least. They can't ask for uh, any assistance from the government, housing or uh, welfare during their stay in Canada. Uh, even they are, when they come here, they, are, they became a permanent residence. They will have the permanent residency card. So, but they still can't apply for these because they are sponsored by, uh, by you. So you have to take care of them at least for the first 10 years. Um, so that's why they need the minimum uh, requirement uh, of the income. Uh, this is, again, a little bit hard because you need to get into this quota or, or the cap. But uh, I know people who had the luck and they brought their parents or grandparents. So uh, it's, it's not difficult, but again, you need to keep an eye on this application when it's open and when it's closed and how to apply for it. Uh, usually, again, uh, these are uh, straightforward uh, application form and then pay the uh, fees. Then your parents will do their fingerprints over there, their medical examination. And after that, they will give them the uh, landing visa, uh, pay for it, I think, 550 uh, for each person. Then can come here as a landing person with a permanent resident status. 
So these are the three most important way that you can bring your parents. Maybe they can come on a study visa or a working visa, but that is totally uh, different and harder case. I would think like if your parents still young, for example, 40, and he wants to do or she wants to do a PhD, it's possible, yeah. But most of the uh, visas I said that the two, the three of them that I spoke about, the temporary visitor visa, the super visa, and the sponsorship for parents. I hope you can stay always healthy. I hope your parents stay healthy and always stay happy. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.